three, two, one. Hunter at Sunrise Acoustic Eclectic Music for your Sunday morning. We're streaming at Hunter at Sunrise.com, WHRV.org, AltRadio.org, and iTunes, Shoutcast, and Radio Time. We're on your digital radio at 89.5, WHRV, HD2, Alt Radio. You know we like to do acoustic sessions on Sunday mornings, and today we have another one for you with Daniel Champagne in our studio. How are you today? I'm very good, Hunter. Yourself? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks for coming down here this morning. Thanks for having me. What would you like to play for us first here before we get to talking? I want to play one of my favorite songs to do. It's called The Nightingale. Excellent. Here's Daniel Champagne here on Hunter at Sunrise. Nightingale Sings each morning Sweet song we in midnight's thread meet her veil a kind calling if I could leave this grassy bed when I told you I was afraid to fall really I was afraid to fly at all Deep in trial Bound in burning her Restless charms Broken through Really, I 
studio on a Sunday morning. So Daniel, welcome to the show. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. No problem. Now, you're originally from Australia. What part of Australia are you from? I'm from uh, the East Coast, kind of halfway between Melbourne and Sydney. Oh, okay. Uh, just a, a very, very small town. What, what's Sydney, the name of the town? The town's called, well, it's not really a town. It's a place called Brogo, which is a uh, which is close to a small town called Beaker. Is that one of those places that just has one light and it's kind of blinking? It's one of those places that uh, is just an area that I think they had to call something. <laughs> <laughs> we we just, got a lot of people yeah. living here, so we might as well call it something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, and you've been doing this since uh, a very small child, right? You learned how to play the guitar really early in life? Yeah. I mean, my first memory was um, of watching my dad uh, play in the backyard practicing with his band and so I just kind of picked it up off him when I was five or six years old and sort of just kept playing it and haven't really put it down since. Uh, your dad was in a band? What was the name of the band? He was in a lot of different bands. Oh really? Yeah. Playing what kind of music? Uh, I mean initially it was kind of Australian pub rock. Now it's more, um, I guess, you know, acoustic folk. He's mostly writing now. Uh, I see. Yeah. I see. But you live here in America now, right? Yeah, I live up in Nashville. Nashville. Oh, across in Nashville. Yeah. You're you're about the second or third Australian that I've met that uh, lives in Nashville. What's the attraction of Nashville? Um, I guess I mean y you've got to move somewhere as a musician. That's probably the first place you look. Maybe like Nashville, New York, Austin. A lot of people want to live with those, but Nashville is kind of cheap and it's sort of centrally located mm -hmm. to where I'm touring. My management's there. A lot of my friends were already there. There are a lot of Australians there and. There's just an incredible music scene sort of in and coming out of that city. And a lot of recording studios there, too. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. And speaking of recordings, you have one out called Gypsy Moon Volume 2. You've actually had two volumes of Gypsy Moon. What mm -hmm. makes you want to do two volumes of a particular album instead of just two albums with different names? Mm -hmm. um, well, what happened is I went in uh, to record this one album, and I'd done, I wanted to do that thing like I'd written 20 songs, and mm -hmm. I wanted to just go in and kind of whittle them down to the best 10 or whatever and record them. Mm -hmm. um, but when, I, when we sort of started laying them down, I kind of just felt about the songs that, that I, I, I kind of loved. I'd kind of fallen in love with all of them, and I didn't really want to just discard a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of came up with the idea with the producer I was working with that, you know, we'll just do this one and then we'll go and keep touring and then come back and record the we'll other record bunch. Record the rest of them. I mean, naturally, as it happens, it turns out I did fall out of love with them and wrote a bunch more. So it, it turned out that the second volume was very different to what it initially was going to be. But um, it's, all, it's all part of an interesting process. Yeah. Well, I, I counted, and I probably counted wrong. Uh, you've, you've put out about five CDs, including two EPs and a live album, and the, this latest album, or is there more? Yeah, th three albums. Yeah, the two Gypsy Moons, one initial debut album, and then a live EP and a studio EP. I yeah. see, I see. So you've been recording for a little while, at least. Since I was 18. Since yeah. you were 18, and you're very young now, so that must be about five or six years ago? I'm 25 now. So yeah, okay, okay. And um, where did you record this latest album, in Nashville? No, it was uh, a mixture between a studio on the south coast, where I'm from, and uh, a studio in Melbourne, where a good, a good oh, friend of okay. mine runs a studio down there. So yeah, it was kind of back and forth, depending on the musicians that were playing on it, and uh, mixed it in Melbourne, and that was before I kind of made the move out, so I only made the move to America in September last year. And oh, really? So you out. haven't been here very long? No, it's a very new thing for me to be going to all these places. What do you What do you think of America so far and living here? I mean, it's it's uh, there's a lot to think about it. It's very like big and, and new and overwhelming, but mostly for me it's exciting to see all these new places. You know, I've been touring in Australia since I was 18. Mm -hmm. And there's only really five cities in that country. And I love it, but it's like yeah, after you've played in the one city 30 times, it feels like, you know, I'm more than happy to be over here going to new places. Yeah, well, launching a career at 18, that must be kind of undaunting, I would imagine, wouldn't it? Well, it wasn't, it didn't feel like launching a career. It felt like I just left school and, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but music was the thing that I enjoyed the most. So I figured I'd just kind of go and 
go and do it until someone said I, I wasn't allowed to and I have to go get a real job or something. And that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet. When they call you up and say, hey, it's time to get a real job, that's yeah, yeah. the time. Yeah. Okay, you know it's up. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to play for us here? Like we're, talking, play a, we're talking with Daniel Champagne, by the way. Play a, a softer road song. It's, it's called Holding the Moon. Excellent. Here's Daniel Champagne here on Hunter and Sunrise. Katie turned away The slow step back She falls into the night And said There's nothing left to pray for There's nothing worth the fight It just feels like we're empty Until someone comes along We could paste in every picture And sing for in each song And if it's always gonna be like this I'll quit believing now if the memories from each turn and miss keep dragging us round in circles, then I'd rather forget. We should cry and hail a taxi with a cigarette. And we say goodbye, and I wonder why we're always leaving so soon. Why I chase the midnight sky when I could be holding the moon? <laughs> she said, Take me as I am. I'll take the next train out of town. Take the memories we kept locked away, cause darling. This love is how it came bound And I want to ask her Ain't it easier just to face it Either my heart kept running fast Or yours grew too strong to chase it And now we all just fade away And slowly I step back into the night Cause if there's nothing real to stay for Then there's no need for the light And we remain Two lost shadows in the dark with your feet To ever frame our restless hearts We say goodbye and I wonder why We're always leaving so soon Why I chase the midnight sky when I could be holding me We say goodbye and then Tear off wide-eyed all the way From the cradle to the tomb mm -hmm. Just wondering why we chase The midnight sky when Could be holding the moon we could be holding the <laughs> I almost dropped my notes. Daniel Champagne here on Hunter at Sunrise this Sunday morning. Do you write? You must write a lot of songs. I mean, you've been writing like since you've been twelve. Yeah, yeah, kind of not necessarily well. <laughs> but, uh, trying to. Yeah. You're your own worst critic, you know, Daniel. I think so, but uh, I, I wouldn't like to hear a few of those early songs. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But when did you get in the groove and say, hey, I, I think I could probably, uh, you know, make a career of this? Um, was it 18 or was it before then? I don't, I, you know, I, I, I don't think it was till like, I don't know. I, I don't think even at 18 I kind of realized. I think I just kind of started touring and kind of got so far into it that it was 
kind of gradually dawned on me that it was going really well. Yeah. And, um, well, you've toured a lot, apparently. You've been to Great Britain, uh, uh, New Zealand, uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. You've been uh, quite the world traveler. Yeah, it's great. It's a great way to see the world. Yeah. When have you been to these places? Was it recently? Um, I go to England uh, a couple of times a year. Yeah. Uh, I tour Australia twice a year. I go to Canada a lot. Um, haven't been to Europe for a while. Mm -hmm. I guess that the focus now is that I'm in America because it was only last year that I was able to get the visa to come down here. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been wanting to do it for a while, so now I guess the focus is just playing as much as I can mm -hmm. over here. How do Australians view American music? Ameri uh, American music? Mm -hmm. um, well, I guess, I'm, I mean, for the last kind of hundred years, um, uh, other than like the British, the obvious British invasions, it's mm -hmm. like that American music has been kind of the template for what, you know, what we listen to. So it's very much a, a big influence and very, very revered. I guess there's there's always that difficult thing where, um, you know, the difference between being influenced by something and trying to imitate it. So mm -hmm. I guess we're, uh, particularly me, I'm very conscious, you know, if I'm doing blues music or country music or whatever, just trying to make sure I'm keeping my accent or, you know, making making sure it still sounds like me. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a hard thing for Australians because Australian music is very much an offshoot, I guess, of, of American music and culture. Yeah, it's true. I, I guess it's because of the, uh, I don't know, the, uh, I, I don't want to say rural, but kind of, it, it's kind of like a, a wild place, and so is America, I guess. Yeah. In a way. We have the wild west and then wild Australia, and it's, yeah. it's kind of, uh, I don't know, we kind of meet in that particular area of music, I suppose. Uh, country western and uh, Americana type of music is, I guess, born of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, where do you go from here? Are you, are you working on a new album, or are you going to be mo touring more? What, what are you uh, What are you thinking? Yeah, so um, at the moment I'm on an American tour that goes through till uh, till halfway through December, mm -hmm. and that's kind of all. Like I've just been in the South, and that's up the East Coast, Midwest, and I go into Canada and do maybe 15 shows, mm -hmm. and um, then I go back to Australia for a bunch of summer festivals, and come back and do the West Coast of America. I think wow. next year is going to be very much like there's a British tour that's just being put in. Next year is very much all over the place, but I, I am slowly working on a studio album, and I'm also going to be doing a record which is just going into the studio and playing a, a bunch of songs live really? that I've been doing for a while, and maybe I wasn't happy with the initial recordings because I did them when I was 18 or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I just want to do a, a live, quick album that's kind of a replicate of what I'm doing at my shows. I see, I see. and. Uh I guess you uh, your material is um, is available online somewhere. Yeah. yeah. How, how do people uh, get your records? I mean, DanielChampagneMusic.com has a full shop, um, which has got all the albums on there. Um, iTunes people who are into the digital format can get it there, and I think a bunch of different other places that I don't even know about. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what else would you like to play for us here? I'd like to firstly make sure my guitar's in tune. And okay, that's play, fine. Uh, play a song that comes out of Melbourne, the southern city of Australia. You oh, wrote the, you wrote this while you were in Melbourne, yeah. or is this a song that uh, that was written in Melbourne by someone else? It was written by me in Melbourne. It was uh, <laughs> I, I stayed there for six months and, and did a residency every Monday night playing at a famous hotel in St Kilda, which is the beachside suburb. Uh -huh. uh, the hotel's called the Esplanade Hotel, and it comes off uh, a street called Ackland Street, which is the name of the song, which is kind of like I guess not not like a the red light district but like a, the grungy edgy sort of part of part of that town yeah so the song's called Ackland Street for some reason so for some reason I could never imagine you hanging around the edgy <laughs> so, I don't know why <laughs> alright are you ready <laughs> I think so I'll just uh, double check this okay I am um, the guitar sounds much better when it's in tune and I meant that as a compliment by the way
Josephine, you should have been on our clean street tonight. You could have seen each falling dream come bounding back to life. But the esplanade felt long, trying to walk it on my own. I couldn't find the southern stars or half the bars you'd shown me in the springtime. Mm. And Josephine, I wish I'd seen you out beneath these lights Like a star swept from the movie screen To steal the heart of Saturday night I stumbled by that old guy that plays careless slightly wrong But missed you by my side all wild eyed drunk and sing along to any verse your heart would You said we'd always fall Like the moon across the ocean And I hear it all Like you're telling me today Though I'd rather just forget And let these memories fade Than look back and regret Each time I should have said stay Josephine, I've never been the one to say things right So I didn't want to kill the dream by calling out tonight Feeling sick from some cheap beer and stumbling through Luna Park Just thinking about our last time here and trying to paint the dark in the shape of your smile mm. You said we'd always fall Like the stars across the ocean And I hear it all Like you're telling me today Though I'd rather just forget And let these memories fade Then look back in depth At every game we used to play Back when we just expect things would always stay the same Girl, I still look back and regret Each time I should have said stay Yeah Alright, Sunrise here with Daniel Champagne this morning Really a pretty song Is that Thank an you. old or a new song? Uh, that's off the last album it's all to last time. New year old. Yeah. And once again, we want to uh, uh, implore people to go and uh, purchase Daniel's uh, uh, CD, uh, Gypsy Moon, Volume 2, Volume 1 and Volume 2, I'm going to say. How about yeah. that? And um, you can get this again where on your website? Yeah, danielchampagnemusic.com. Right. And where do you go to from here? I mean, more immediately. Uh, so Herndon tonight in Virginia, just out of D.C. Okay. And, uh, and then Cleveland, Ohio, and then up to Ontario, Canada. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this today. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate uh, it. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I always enjoy it. We always so welcome you into <laughs> our living room here on Hunter and Sunrise, and we really appreciate you coming on the show. Well, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Excellent. Daniel Champagne here on Hunter and Sunrise, and that's going to wrap me up today. Uh, as usual, our show will be on demand at 11.30 this morning. Plus, uh, you can check out our podcasts of these acoustic sessions on our website, as well as our playlists and our concert calendar. It goes way into 2016. Check that all out at hunteratsunrise.com. Next weekend, we're going to have Sky Zentz on the program. She's returning. She has some new songs to play for you, so she will be on next week. Thank you so much for listening today. You've been listening to Hunter at Sunrise here on 89.5 WHRB HD2 Alt Radio Norfolk, Virginia and HunterAtSunrise.com. <laughs>